everyone. Today we'll learn how to subtract decimal numbers. Let's begin. Subtraction of decimal numbers is just like we have done the addition of decimal numbers. So our first step will be same. We'll convert the given decimal numbers into like decimals. Step two, we'll line up the decimal points one after the other. And step three, we'll subtract each place value from the right side. And step four, for answer, place the decimal point directly below the decimal point. So we'll write the decimal point in the answer just below the above decimal points of the question. So let's understand these better with the help of example. So our example is subtract 16.03 minus 7.385. So our first step is convert these decimal numbers into like decimals. So for that, we'll check the maximum decimal places. Here we, it's three. So we'll convert it into the three decimal places. For that, we'll add zero at the end. So 16.030 is the like decimal. And 3.7.385 uh, because the decimal places are exactly same. So if you do not know how to convert like decimals, just check out the video of the types of decimals like and unlike decimals. And I'll share in the link uh, in the description. You can watch from there. So next step, line up the decimals. So we have the two decimal numbers. So we'll write one decimal and the second decimal. So these I have lined up in a one line. Okay, so before decimal, I'll write 6, then 1, and after decimal, 0, 3, 0. Again, before decimal, I'll write 7, and after decimal, 3, 8, and 5. Now the subtraction sign. Now we'll subtract. 0 minus 5 is not possible, so 0 will borrow 1 from 3. And before doing the subtraction, we'll write the decimal point just below the other decimals, for the answer as well. And now we'll start with the decimal subtraction. So here, first of all, 0 minus 5 is not possible. So 0 will borrow 1 from 3. And it will become 10. And 3 uh, uh, minus 2 minus 1 will be 2. So 3 is left with 2 and we have 10 here. 10 minus 5 is 5. Now, 2 minus 8, again, not possible. 2 will go to 0 to borrow 1. But 2, 0, do not have anything, will go to 6 and will borrow 1 and will become 10 again. And 6 will become 5. And now, the, this 2 will take 1 from 10. And it will become 9. And this will become 12. So, now, 12 minus 8 is possible. 12 minus 8 is 4. So our answer here is 4. Now 9 minus 3 will be 6. And we have 5 minus 7. Again not possible. So 5 will borrow 1 from this 1. And it will become 15. And this will be 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. Now 15 minus 7. We have 8. And now we have our answer. Uh, this is 0. And our answer is 8.645. So it's very easy. It's just like addition we have done. You just need to convert the subtraction, the num decimal numbers into like decimals and then do the subtraction like we do the subtraction of whole numbers. But remember, you have to line up the decimal in a single column. So question two, we have subtract 14.2. 5, 6 from 27.83. So in this question, we have from here instead of minus sign. So it's very important that while doing this kind of subtraction, the second term first comes first. So it means 14.27 is subtracted from this number. It means this will come first 27.83 minus 14.256. So first we'll write that and then we'll convert the given decimal numbers into like decimal. So I'll be doing that step. So I have written 27.83 first, then minus 14.256 because of this from. From means second term minus first term. First, I write this second decimal number. So 27.83 minus 14.256. 
Now converting them into like decimals, the maximum number of decimal places are three, here are two. So I'll add one zero and I have the like decimals here. Now I'll use these decimals for the answer. So for after converting into like decimals, our first step is line up the decimals, so one, two. After that, before decimal seven and then two, and after decimal, I have eight, three, zero. Before decimal, I write four under this seven, one under this two, and two, five, six on the other side of decimal with subtraction. Now in the answer, I will write the decimal again here. And now zero minus six again is not possible. So zero will borrow one from three and will become 10. And 3 will become 2 because it has given 1 to this 0. And now the 10 minus 6 is 4. And 2 minus 5 is not possible. 2 will again borrow 1 from 8. So it will become 7. And this 2 will become 12. Now 12 minus 5 is 7. And 7 minus 2 is 5. 7 minus 4 we have 3 and 2 minus 1, we have 1. So our answer is 13.57 for after the subtraction. It's very easy. Just remember, convert the given decimal numbers into like decimal and do the subtraction. And subtraction, you'll start from the very right side, that is from the thousands place, whatever the place we have on the right side. Okay. So it's your time to do some workout. This question is for you, 9.2 minus 6.1. You have to find the answer of this question and write the answer in the comment section. I will check later and we'll see that you know the subtraction of decimal numbers or no, not. Okay, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.